Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. I'm in Aransas Pass, Texas. Had to come over here to make my truck payment because I didn't want it to be late. So I got my YouTube check, which is a direct deposit type of deal. I guess it's not even called a direct deposit check anymore, huh? Hmm. Rushed over here to pay my uh, bill. These people aren't going to go until the light is really green. Not the car in front of me, the car in front of them. There's a Walgreens. I'm going to hop on 35. When I was coming here, there was a little duck pond. Hey, oh, cows. Good morning, cows. No one behind me. Cool. Good morning, boys. They got some hay. Cows and hay. I love it. I love it. Just saying hey to the cows. Should we get the bad dad joke out of the way? Monday. That was yesterday. We're, road work begins. I did come through quite a bit of road work coming here. Oh, I also wanted to mention... Uh, I, was on my, I was talking about the duck pond. There's a duck pond uh, right here on the highway. More towards Rockport, but... I've stopped there a few times and filmed ducks and geese and various waterfowl. And uh, about a mile away from it today, you could see some flashing police lights. So I changed lanes. What are you guys doing? Making a right on the shoulder. Cool. Cool. There's the butter churn. That's where Luciano wants to go eat the butter churn. It's not going to be today, Luciano. Lots of construction. So for the third time, the duck pond. <laughs> Squirrel. My mind is racing. I'm only like four sips into my morning coffee, guys. So for the fourth time, the duck pond. I see the police lights flashing. So I get in the other lane. I'm, you know, I'm thinking, my mind says... Someone pulled over to feed the ducks and they're blocking the shoulder and the officer is giving them a warning or a ticket or whatever. And when I get there, there's two police cars with their lights on. And I don't see another vehicle, like they didn't pull anyone over. So I glance at the duck pond to see if I can uh, spot any ducks. And there is a pickup truck, look like a red pickup truck in the middle of the duck pond. Now, that was just at a quick glance, because I don't want a rubber neck on the highway. We were probably going about 35 in a 75, but wanted to be an example of a good driver with the two policemen in front of me. And just like that, there's a red pickup. Probably a different one. So a guy walks into a bar, and he's got a big chunk of concrete under his arm. He says, uh, give me two beers, one for me and one for the road. <laughs> Thank you, Siri. <laughs> so it is 9.39 a.m., and I'm going to go meet the dogs and start house and dog sitting at 11 a.m. and I'll probably post this video at 5 p.m. so I should be about six hours in to dog sitting when you guys are watching this to give you a idea how my day goes I was really um money was uh, tight this month and when I open my loan account at, uh, I don't want to say where, but it was a new account a few years ago when I got my uh, truck loan. See, now here's the flashing lights. Here's the flashing lights. Sorry about the wind. There's the kind of a copper colored, if you will. Rust colored? I don't know what color that is. I'm colorblind. Uh, 
truck. And I don't know how we got there. I'm just assuming there was some alcohol involved or some medical emergency. You know, one time, uh, my friend had this large chunk of property, actually out on Cape Valero, where we go sometimes to film the sunsets. And he was already out there. I think I was dropping something off to him. It probably looked like a bad drug deal to a lot of people, but it wasn't, or else I wouldn't be broke this month. <laughs> There's another story I got to go back to. And um, I, he, he was standing outside of his truck, and I pulled up next to him and just up sitting in my truck talking to him. And uh, then I got out to, to look at something. We were both standing there, probably talked about 10 minutes. And then my truck starts to roll. So the whole time I was talking to him, I was probably in some little rut, never put my truck in park. And uh, it was in drive the whole time. I knew the engine was running. Both of our trucks had our engine running. And he made a nice little run and hopped in and hit the brakes. I mean, it only went about 10 feet, but there would have been about a nice little two or three foot drop off and I would have been in Copano Bay. So, here's another story. You, you people that don't think I'm dumb, here's another story that proves it. So, I had to uh, open up a checking account at the um, at the loan place, the, the bank, the loan place, the place where you get quarters to go washing. Um, and uh, I think I put like, you had to have $25. It's still a $25 minimum. So I put 25 bucks in it. And then every month you send your loan to that bank. They put it in your checking account and then they pay your loan from there. Well, sometimes throughout the three and a half years or whatever it's been, I would... Um, get, uh, like, I don't know, like, every time I signed up for a different phone thing, it, it, it was, you know, well, if, if you have, if, if you have this bank and this bank or this bank, you get a hundred dollar refund and it worked out for me. So I almost had enough in there to make an entire truck payment just from those little types of bonuses. And like, the, the, there was a couple online things through credit cards, like, you know, if, if you choose this option this month, and it's probably American Express and uh, Capital One that I'm thinking of, that they'll offer little bonuses for things, and those went into that account. So, yeah, it was almost my whole truck payment. So I just had to go to a physical office today, make sure everything I was doing was right. Basically, the cashier did everything for me and gave me receipts, but really paid my truck payment the, this month just from money that you know I know I'm paying for it one way or another but it didn't cost me anything uh, or much additionally so that was that going by um, certified auto that's where if, if I had any truck issues now that's where I would go because my warranties are up I would go see Bob at Certified Auto. So we got 9.44. I got to be at the house sit at 11. I'm going to get off here at Market Street and go check on Luciano. And while I'm house sitting, guys, I think, uh, I think, I don't know if it's going to happen. I might be posting a videos answering comments in the morning and then in the evening uh, I want to get out of the house for an hour and just go drive around and see what's going on and film some stuff and uh, make sure Luciano knows to message me if he needs anything special he's going to have to plan it out if he needs to go to the store he's going to have to tell me ahead of time which I don't think is his forte but for the next however many days, 10 days or whatever it is, the dogs are the priority. Because I said I would, that's why.
wonder what we got going here. Oh, it's uh, framing. Pretty Looks like for a metal building, but it doesn't have to be necessarily a metal building. There you go. And... While I'm in the house, I'm going to get some electronic devices all set up and do my laundry, but mostly pet some dogs and make sure they get out and get their medicine and get fed and all that kind of fun stuff. And I got my drama stick with me. That way, if uh, anyone comes near me with any drama, I just shake my drama stick at them. No. No drama. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's got 69 degrees. And uh, I think it's supposed to go up just into the low 70s today. And I think around 3 or 4 the sun's going to come out. But it's been kind of hazy. The sun came out for a little bit in the afternoon yesterday. And it was really nice. Family dollar. And uh, yeah. I hope you all are doing well. Thanks for riding along with me today, guys. I appreciate you. Have a great evening. Thanks for watching.